The 808 bass drum is a key element for creating modern trap and hip hop beats. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorite instruments and effects for creating 808 inspired sounds. Here are some examples of some 808 bass sounds I've been able to create using Reason 12. We can create 808 inspired sounds using the Kong Drum Designer. By using the different synth drum modules, we can create our own 808 inspired sounds. For example, the snare, hi-hat, tom, and of course, the 808. So let's use the synth bass drum to create the 808. So I'll go to my first pad and I'll select drum module synth bass drum. First, we're gonna increase our decay. We're gonna turn down our attack time. We're also gonna turn off the bend completely. We're gonna come back to pitch. Let's also turn down our tone and our noise mix. And we're gonna also turn down our click. And now let's hear what we have. And that sounds like a pretty good 808 bass drum to me. There are three key elements to 808 inspire sounds. First is tuning, second is layering, and third is distortion or saturation. We want to tune this bass drum to a specific note. In order to tune this drum appropriately, there's two tips that I have for you guys. The first is to go to the top of your rack to your master section and turn on record source. Add an audio track, make sure that it's set to stereo, and then select the master section. Now, this button right here is the tuner. We can click on that tuner, and when we play our bass drum, we will actually see what note is being played. The note that's coming up is an F. So what we're gonna do is we're going to simultaneously adjust our pitch, check the tuner to make sure that we are getting a C. We want to tune this 808 so that it is in the pitch of C. The reason why we want it to be in C is so that when we load it into our sampler and we're playing it on our MIDI keyboard or in our piano roll, it will transpose correctly to the correct corresponding pitches that we change it to in our piano roll or on our MIDI keyboard. Let's set our window up so that we can see both the pitch and the tuner when we play our drum note. So we need to raise our pitch up. Now we're getting a A sharp, So we're still not to C. Go down to 30. So we're getting to C right around pitch 35. So I would say that we have our C. Let's play that C on our mouse drum and then also play it on our Kong to make sure we're getting the same note. And as you can see, as we're playing both the mouse drum sine wave and we're playing that bass drum, the sounds are pretty much coming out the same. So now we have a bass drum that has been properly tuned to the pitch of C. Now let's record that 808 bass drum into the audio track so that we have a wave file. Once we have a wave file, we can use the pitch edit mode in order to tighten up that sound so that we're not having any drift or any wobbling of the pitch, but we're getting an 808 that is correctly tuned. Now we can go to bounce clip as new samples. If we like this sample just as it is, and it's in our self-contained samples, all we need to do is hit export sample, and then we can save that into our folder, and we'll be able to bring up that sample later when we want to use it in our music production. So now that we have these 808 bass samples, let's build out a track so we can continue to shape our 808 bass sound. Let's add in a clang tune percussion. Next, let's add in some drums from Arcade Drip. Using the instrument monotone with the effects unison and a filter, we can create this low growl sound for our track. Let's add in some chords from a custom Maelstrom patch. And now let's hear it all together. That has a good sound and it definitely gives us a good foundation, but we are missing that 808 sound. So let's go find those 808 samples that we cooked up earlier and let's add it to this track. I like to use the Mimic Creative Sampler whenever I'm using one shots. We'll find that clean 808. 
So using Mimic, I like to turn on the mono retrig as well as increase our release. Now let's add some 808 to this track. So that 808 is fitting into this track really well. I'm really glad that we did the tuning that we did to make sure that it is in the right pitch. Now let's lower our high cut, add a little bit of squeeze, also add in the effect scream, and let's hear how our 808 sounds now. My go-to for the 808 bass drum is the Audiomatic Retro Transformer with the bottom preset. I put that on pretty much all of my 808s. Audiomatic Retro Transformer is great for that sub, but if you want to have a distorted 808, you can also use the crack preset. To give it a little more character and to give it a little more vibe, let's actually add in some glides and slides. Hmm, that rhymed. So there's a couple ways we can do that inside of Mimic Creative Sampler. One way is to simply use our pitch bin. So if we use our pitch bin, we can create some glides and slides. I'm gonna to choose to draw in the automation so that you can see exactly what's happening with the pitch as we're using the pitch bin. So we're gonna click edit automation and then we're gonna get this automation lane, which is going to allow us to draw in our automation. We want this to start at the regular pitch and then we want it to gradually decrease. We're gonna set a point at 0% at the beginning of the note. And then when we want it to do our glide down, we're gonna create another automation point and then we can play around with the speed of that automation in order to create the correct ramp that we want to give it the vibe that we're looking for. Let's turn on the portamento and increase the rate so that we can create those 808 slides. So those are some of the instruments and effects that I use in order to create 808 inspired sounds inside of Reason 12. I hope that you guys liked this video and if you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. My name is Chris Reed and until next time, peace.